an end time divine revelation from the Lord Jesus Christ to his servant Brother Chidius Anaile about the rapture of the church the judgment of God the tribulation Satan's deception and heavenly sons remain blessed as you listen in Jesus name let us pray Heavenly Father King of all glory we bless you for these end time revelations you have given to me to the body of Christ use this testimony to depopulate hell and populate heaven sanitize your church let the wind of revival blow across we bring subjection every power that is disobedient to the Lord Jesus Christ Amen uh, my name is Anele Chie and then um, I'm an undergraduate and then um, these are my end time revelation I'm from Imo State um, but I reside in Lagos State from a family of seven how did all my experience began and um, this all began at about September 2012 uh, when I decided to give my life to Jesus Christ you know the joy the satisfaction and the peace you feel and I felt the spirit of the Lord all over me because um, I began to hear audible voices, um, have trances, and then um, seeing vision in my spirit and out of body experience. And then um, this encounter I'm about to give is about the rapture, how the rapture will take place. And these are the things that the Lord Jesus Christ showed me. And then um, so many other things that will be before the world, before the Lord Jesus Christ comes back to take his children home. Um, all of a sudden, I was in the spirit, and as I saw great destruction upon the world, there was um, great confusion and great randomness all over the world. And then um, this began in my birth church, the Roman Catholic Church, um, after I was saved. And then um, I was on the earth. After this, I was taken up to heaven, and I saw a room whereby little children were there, were clothed with white garments. And then um, all of a sudden, I saw myself back to the earth. And I saw a man looking elegant. He was tall and um, beautiful. He didn't speak a word to me. But I knew this was the Lord Jesus Christ. Afterwards, I told him, why am I still on earth? I've done your will on earth. I've preached your word on earth. And um, he didn't speak a word to me, but he just gave me a Bible. Initially, I never had a Bible of my own because of where I was coming out from. And all of a sudden, I was moved into the spirit. As um, the Lord showed me the great tribulation, how it would take place. The earth was already consumed with fire. It was a barren land. As um, we were suffering, there was lots of pain. There was lots of famine. And I saw a man with a great horn. He was searching for each and every one of us in the wilderness. But I knew all that waited on the Lord were saved. My brothers and sisters, let no man wait to experience all this. Because at this point in time, men will pay with the last drop of their blood. And when the rapture took place, I saw no soul making it out of this um, denominational, um, of this place that um, the Lord saved me from. No soul was making it up to the rapture. But I decree today that the grace of the Lord will begin to locate us from today in Jesus' name we pray. I had had different encounters of the rapture. There, there were an uncountable number of them. And then all of a sudden I heard the trumpet. This is how the trumpet will sound. And it sounded like this. Param, param. And when it sounded, there were only few people making it up to heaven. I saw few women also making it up. And I always asked the Lord, why are there are few people making it up to heaven? As he told me, without holiness, righteousness, and truth, no eye shall see Jesus. There was great confusion and then um, there was randomness all over the earth. I saw fire, lightning, and thunder coming down from heaven. My brothers and sisters, all of a sudden, I was in a room whereby the place was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. But I saw that only few people were making it up to the rapture. And I said to myself, we are 7 billion people on earth. Why are, they, why are there only few people making it up to the rapture? Remember the Bible says in Matthew 22 verse 14, many are called, but few are choosing. Until the Lord made me understand, he will not change in standard even for 7 billion souls on the earth. But I pray today that the grace of the Lord would help us to see Jesus just as he is in Jesus' name we pray. The glorious voice of the archangel. I was going through lots of spiritual battles. As um, in another encounter, I was haunted by the queen of immorality. And then um, she came to torture me. But I heard a voice from heaven say, 
Do not touch him. He is my chosen one. And a sword from heaven was used to smite all these demons. Before now, the Lord sent down fire from my body to consume all my enemies. I knew this was the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. As he showed me Jeremiah 33 verse 3, which says, Call unto me, I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not about. I was going through lots of problems. As the Lord promised me Psalm 102, the prayer of a troubled youth. My brothers and sisters, if you are going through any problem, don't forget this verse, Psalm 102, the prayer of a troubled youth. After this, I began to organize different morning devotion. As Satan came, he gave me an unknown sickness and I was rushed to the hospital at a point in time. But I heard the voice of the Lord say unto me, and he said, what do you want me to do for you? And then I told him of all my aspirations and all my experiences and he comforted me. I knew this was a sign of his faithfulness and his covenant with me. In a short while, I saw thunder, lightning and storm all over the earth. And then a young man disappeared while I was in the spirit. As he disappeared, his body was being transformed from a mortal, from a mortal body to an immortal body. And I heard something I've never heard before. This was the voice of the archangel. Let us remember as the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 4.16, it says, for the Lord will descend from heaven with a shout of the voice of the archangel. And they sang this way. Let God be praised. Let God be praised. Let God be praised. For he my brothers and sisters, there are no voice on earth compared to this voice that I heard right now. I knew that if you take all the whole choirs of the earth, and then you would not be able to compare this voice that I heard right now. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is mighty. All of a sudden, I saw people moving up to the afterlife. Remember, there were only few people making it up to the rapture. And I heard a voice say, it is time. I decree today that the salvation of the Lord is coming upon our lives right now in Jesus' name we pray. All of a sudden, at another encounter, the Lord revealed to me 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. I believe this is a must read for every believer. A young lady began to tell me of the dead coming back to life. And this was responsible for all the encounters that we see that um, the Lord Jesus Christ is giving to us. If you are still doubting these encounters, my brothers and sisters, this is the way the Lord Jesus Christ is saving more souls in these last days. And um, the Lord told me in this verse, he said, Let no man deceive you by any means. For the day will not come, except there comes a falling away, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. And on a wall I saw written boldly, Jesus is coming. And the Lord Jesus told me, these things must take place before the Son of Man has to come. And as we all know, there will be great falling away. Many believers will begin to live out of the true doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ before the Son, the Antichrist, is being revealed. And I heard so many people say in pidgin language, it don't happen, no, it don't happen, no, it don't happen, no, the rapture was taking place. But I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace to see him in Jesus' name we pray. After the rapture, the Lord revealed to me how the rapture will take place. And after the rapture, what are the reactions of so many believers after the rapture? All of a sudden, I saw, I saw in the spirit as um, everywhere was busy. Everywhere was busy with their normal daily activities. Everybody was busy with their normal daily activities. But my brothers and sisters, the rapture had already taken place. I saw how so many persons went to the internet and they browsed the news. They saw all this. I saw how the system of the education on the earth was already closing down. My brothers and sisters, the news was all over the earth. I saw so many people, they were busy with their normal daily activities. The Lord told me there will be nothing special about that day. It will be like any other day. But so many souls will not be prepared. And after this, I saw a man in his office with great astonishment as he heard of this news of the rapture. He almost fainted and the cup of tea he was with just fell down on the ground. After this, the Lord showed me again how the earth was consumed with fire. The earth was consumed with fire in all directions. This was after the rapture had taken place. And the Lord told me that for anybody to make it up to the rapture, we have to destroy this self. We have to destroy this flesh for our spirits to make it up to the rapture. But I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace. And all of a sudden, so many people were left behind. 
they were left behind and so many persons were looking for their loved ones they were looking for their brothers and their sisters all over but they couldn't find them and many of them said to themselves oh they have been taken away my brothers and sisters i repeat they were only few making it up to the rapture let us remember without holiness righteousness and truth no eye will see jesus the lord also showed me how many believers were left behind Many believers in holiness professing churches, many believers that you think that will be the first to be in the kingdom of God. I saw careless pastors that were left behind because of one or two distractions. And I was weeping and I was weeping and I was weeping because of different distractions. My brothers and sisters, let us know and let us be careful. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 12, let us be careful when we think we stand lest we fall. Humanity were not prepared as even when the rapture took place at some point in time. I didn't see any other soul making it up to the rapture. And I began to ask myself, why was there no soul making it up to the rapture? But the Lord Jesus Christ showed me this. Because at this point in time, humanity were not prepared. But I pray that the grace of the Lord will begin to locate us right now in Jesus' name we pray. The final battle. This is how the final battle will take place. As written in Revelation 27 to 10. All of a sudden, I saw two groups of people. I saw a huge battalion army of soldiers. They were uncountable and they were clothed in a black garment. And I saw another huge um, army of soldiers. But these ones were led by the lion of the tribe of Judea. Jesus Christ is mighty. And afterwards, they began to make war with each other. There was great war. Everybody wanted to fight this great war with their last blood. Everybody wanted to fight this great war with their last zeal. And I always ask myself, who are those who will fight this battle? Until the Lord told me, it is only those that have washed their garments with the blood of the Lamb. Now, I saw different thrones that were seated. They were arrayed, different thrones, and I saw a king. He was clothed in royalty and in majesty. All of a sudden, he raised up his hands. Immediately, he raised up his hands. The battle was over. And God's people won the battle. These people were led by Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High Living God. But I pray that the grace to fight this battle, the Lord Jesus Christ will give unto us. So many persons will ask themselves, is this battle a spiritual battle? Is it a physical battle? But I can tell you, it's a physical battle. After the enemy will want to declare war with the sons and the daughters of God. I pray today and I decree. Every power that is fighting and contending against the spirit of God upon your life. May the Lord Jesus Christ begin to fight your battles in Jesus' name we pray. The new Jerusalem. These are not to compare my experiences with John. But I saw the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. The earth was already in great random movement and there was great plexicity, there was destruction because anytime I see um, the rapture taking place, the earth is to be a barren land because at this point in time, the Holy Spirit has already left the earth. And then um, when this happened, I saw a great magnificent city coming down from heaven. It was like a beautiful city. It was like a beautiful city and it dwelt among men. Remember, the earth had already been destroyed after this point in time. And when the, thing, when the city came down, there were angels all around this city. Now, people were stylishly looking for ways to enter this kingdom. As I was watching closely, I asked myself, why were they stylishly trying to enter this kingdom? But this is what the Lord told me. In, in that day it shall be like the word of God says you shall see Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and in the kingdom of God and so many people will wish that they find themselves in this kingdom my brothers and sisters this city was so magnificent and the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to seek him now that he may be found because the time shall come when we would seek him and many shall not see him but I pray that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ would help us to meet him at the end in Jesus name we pray the judgment throne of God. All of a sudden, I saw myself around the judgment throne of God. There were lots of uncountable books, large books that were, that were on the table, and we were on a straight line. But I remember fear was all over me because it was time to receive the judgment of the Lord because I never understood the kind of life I was living here on earth. I believe at this point in time, this fear illuminated and it surrounded all over the judgment throne. Everybody was afraid. They were expecting to receive their judgment. We were in a straight line moving like that. But I saw something so magnificent. I saw something so powerful. I saw something so beautiful. And I saw inscribed of the sun 
was the son of man, Jesus Christ. He came down to the judgment throne. And my brothers and sisters, nobody could approach this light I saw. Because Jesus Christ was inscribed inside of this sun rays. No wonder Jesus Christ is truly the son of God. Jesus Christ is truly the son of God. And after this, when he appeared in this judgment throne, everybody were being judged according to the works that they have done. And let us pray by the grace of God. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace to make it up to his kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. The mountain top. The Lord revealed to me there are two believers we have on earth. These are those at the mountain top, and these are those at the valley. Now, in this revelation and in this encounter, while I was in the spirit, I saw how so many persons were at the mountain top. While I was at the mountain top, some persons were at the valley. Now, at the mountain top, there are lots of persecutions and trials. Remember, the Lord Jesus Christ told us that it is only through persecutions and trials who enter the kingdom of God. But this is a song of the mountain top because I always hear heavenly songs. Heavenly songs. Um, why I was, why I'm in the spirit and in different encounter. And this song I heard is a song for every believer, and it's the mountain top song and it, they sang like this i heard this loud voice from heaven praise him on the mountain everyone praise god on the mountain top oh, praise god on the mountain let us praise God on the mountain top. Oh, praise God on this mountain. Everyone praise God on the mountain top. This is a song for every believer steadfastly working for Jesus Christ. And I pray that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ will be upon us all in Jesus' name we pray. The judgment seat of Christ. At some point in time, I was at the judgment seat of Christ. And while I was at the judgment seat of Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ smiled at me. I saw a glorious and a magnificent throne that the Lord Jesus Christ is sitting upon. And indeed, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Now immediately... I saw people began to appear before the judgment throne of Jesus Christ. And when they appeared, I saw the general of Asia of the Holiness Revival Movement, Pastor Porika, appeared. And I saw a young man, in Manes Samson Jude, appear before this judgment throne of Christ. Immediately, the only thing God asked them for is, how did you use the gift that I gave unto you? My brothers and sisters, are you here? You are not using the gift that the Lord Jesus Christ has given unto you for the grace and for the propagation of the gospel. We remember that we would always account for everything that the Lord Jesus Christ has given unto us. All of a sudden, I saw a very well-known priest, Reverend Father Mbaka, as he appeared before the judgment throne. Something happened. It is either my body stood still or my body moved through and fro. And immediately, my body moved through and fro because he never had a stand with our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a message that the Lord Jesus Christ is giving to him because the Lord Jesus Christ loves him so much and the Lord Jesus Christ wants him to make it up to heaven. And the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, Roman Catholics repent from every idol. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace to see him just as he is. And I pray that the grace of the Lord will begin to appear to each and every one of us under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name we pray. The wrath of God. The wrath of God that is about to fall upon humanity a wicked generation that loves evil and that is why the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us right now repent for the kingdom of God is at hand repent for the kingdom of God is at hand repent for the kingdom of God is at hand I saw the earth and I saw 95% of the earth everyone on earth was consumed inside of this great ocean now this looked like the Bible story between Noah and the earth in this ocean so many persons were consumed there they couldn't come out from this ocean this is the state of how the earth is like and many persons we are trying to rescue these people from this eternal damnation but my brothers and sisters we made prayers but so many persons we are doomed in there and these souls were believers and so many people that are still living here on earth but I pray that the grace of the Lord will help us to escape the judgment and the wrath of God that is about to fall upon humanity in Jesus name we pray holiness dressing 
at this point in time, the Lord began to reveal to me, without holiness, without holiness, without holiness, no eye shall see the Lord. The Lord began to give me different biblical verses, like Isaiah 3, 16, Jeremiah 4, 13. If you are here right now, begin to read those verses because they speak more on holiness dressing. At this point in time, I never understood what the Lord was saying, but it made things clearer to me. Remember the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 7, 1, having therefore these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit, perfecting ourselves in holiness and in the fear of God. I heard the voice of the Lord say unto me, tell them, if they don't remove all those hearing and all those attachments and all those outward aids, they will not see my face. The voice of God sounded like thunder and I knew nothing holy would ever see the kingdom of God. Remember, you cannot dress like Jezebel and begin to enter the kingdom of God. The, the Bible says that we must come to him and give our body to him as a living sacrifice. The Lord told me that this is the reason why we have few women making it up to the rapture. But I pray from this moment onwards, we will begin to dress holy for our Lord Jesus Christ, the great tribulation. And the Lord showed me the great tribulation that will be fall upon this earth. What are you waiting for? Do you need cars? Do you need money? Do you need wives? Do you need wealth? Is it not to serve Jesus? Is it not to be like Jesus? Give me Jesus and take this earth away from me. The Lord began to show me the great tribulation. This was the favorite heat from the heavenly bodies. As I began to move out of my comfort zone while in the spirit in this encounter, my skin began to melt up like wax. It was burning up like plastic. But the Lord Jesus Christ took away this pain from me because I never felt any pain. I saw some group of people hiding themselves in their different environments because the land, the earth was like a barren land. Remember that at this point in time, this is the great tribulation when the children of God has been taken away. And I tell you, it seems as if the sun was already coming down to earth. The fervent heat from the sun was melting our body like wax. My brothers and sisters, this was so this was so terrible. As at this point in time, this was the wrath of God coming upon humanity. I saw the sun moving through and fro. It was as if the stars were already falling down from heaven. They began to fall down from heaven. The sun was moving through and fro. And immediately, an old woman sp spoke unto me. And she said to me, thousands have risen against you, but you still stand. But I turned this as God's grace. I saw the heavenly bodies began to shake through and fro. Remember these things were written in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 to 27. My brothers and sisters, let no man wait to experience all this. It is time to serve Jesus. It is time to give your life for Jesus. It is time to live for Jesus. Without Jesus. Without Jesus. Except a man is born again. Except a man turns unto Jesus Christ. No eye can see the kingdom of God. The Illuminati group. The Lord began to review to me about these great worldly musicians upon the earth. As um, it was a very great concert going on. As um, it was in a stadium. I saw these great worldly musicians like um, Rihanna, Chris Brown. And they were having a concert. But all these worldly musicians I saw were clothed in a black garment. And all of a sudden, I knew that um, these people were about to do something. So many persons were in this concert, lots of youths were there, but an initiation was going on. As I saw a group of persons blow a powdery substance upon the whole set of people in this concert, my brothers and sisters, I knew that they were also sharing a particular book to every soul that came to that concert. But in this book, they were blaspheming words to the Lord Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. And then the Spirit of the Lord moved me to another scene. I saw that all these souls that were in this musical concert were initiated for the great tribulation. They were initiated to fight the great battle and they were armies for Satan. And all of a sudden, I was in the Roman Catholic Church as I saw that the suffering, the tribulation began from that place as this was my best church. As this was my best church, all of a sudden, I saw the armies of Satan. They were clothed in a red, in a red garment, like an army uniform, and all that stripes, different color. My brothers and sisters, this was very much terrible. I saw people running head and scatter. It seemed as if these armies of Satan had a different, a kind of. 
physical and spiritual power to inflict pain on every soul upon the earth. And all of a sudden, they wanted to get me, but the Holy Spirit took me away from that sin. And I heard a loud voice sing. It was as if many persons were now waiting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The women I saw there were in great pain. Remember, the Bible spoke about all this, that the women would be in great pain of those days. And I heard a very great song in the Spirit. And it sang this way. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming today. Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming today, oh Jesus is coming, oh Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming today, oh Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming today. All of a sudden, I saw groups of people heading to a confessional to make confessions. But my brothers and sisters, there was no way to hide from the wrath of God. Because the Holy Spirit was taken out of the earth. Even at this point in time, so many persons began making prayers. But these prayers could not be acceptable anymore. Because it is time to face the great tribulation. But I pray and I decree into the life of somebody here today. That the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace to not to face all this. But to make it all to the rapture in Jesus name we pray. Hitting elements upon the earth. The Lord showed me different chemicals that will be used during the great tribulation. There will be hidden elements like a chemical coming down from the heavens. And any soul it touched immediately fell down and then their body was destroyed. You remember Peter, 2 Peter 3, 10 to 11, which talks about the fervent heat that is coming from the heavenly bodies. My brothers and sisters, I saw these chemicals as it, as it began to touch everyone. Many persons began to run into their different hiding places. The Lord also showed me the doom upon the earth. As I saw great destruction, the Lord showed me a great destruction that will fall upon China and a great destruction that will fall upon the land. This was time to face the great tribulation. Many persons began to weep and weep and weep. The Spirit of the Lord began to show me great and mighty things that the, that the earth will face. In this encounter also, I saw the Son of Man. He was clothed in royalty. He was clothed in majesty. Remember at this point in time, the system of the world, the education, everything was closed down. But I saw something so magnificent. It was so terrible. I believe that the Bible also speaks about this. About a meteor rock, a heavenly body from space. It was coming down to earth. And when it came down to earth, it consumed almost a half of the universe. My brothers and sisters, this was very much terrible. As many persons were running in pain, in anguish, and many were gnashing their teeth. I saw an uncountable number of books. But these books I saw were filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. My brothers and sisters, immediately I saw all this. I saw so many persons crying, so many persons running at us. This meteor rock that was falling upon the earth was falling greatly upon the earth and it was consuming every part of the earth. But I pray that the grace of the Lord will be upon us so that we will not face all this in Jesus' name we pray. Sudden destruction upon the earth. And all of a sudden, I saw great fighting, people in the same vicinity. Many persons were fighting each other. It's like there was war between different countries. Like because a powerful substance like a magnet was moving me close to the presence of the Most High Living God. Suddenly I heard a loud voice say to me, "One the earth, destruction is coming upon the earth. My brothers and sisters, this voice was so very much clear. I heard the voice of the Lord say to me, 
run as fast as you can run as fast as you can warn the earth because the earth was already folding up it was already folding up because it was consumed with fire and brainstorm but i pray that the grace of the lord jesus christ will be upon each and every one of us in jesus name we pray there was lots of persecutions and trouble that humanity were facing at this point in time my brothers and sisters remember that the higher your calling the higher the persecution that we will go through i saw lots of filthiness upon the earth as many were facing this great tribulation i saw demons all over the ends of the earth now it seemed as if there were lots of beasts all over the earth they began to have sexual immorality with every soul on earth forcing people to do the things that they didn't want to do and also they were disputing and they were disorganizing every gathering that was held these were the demons that were existing on earth at this point in time now i saw different people they were hiding themselves from the wrath of god some persons hid themselves into a cave i saw some persons they hid themselves and they buried themselves into the ground why because of the wrath of god that was coming upon humanity my brothers and sisters there was great plexicity there was great trouble of those days many tried to hide themselves from the wrath of god my brothers and sisters don't be like the foolish virgin ask for wisdom ask for grace and the grace of the lord will begin to overshadow us from right from now right now in jesus name we pray satan's deception this was um i was going through lots of spiritual warfare at this point in time my brothers and sisters every prayer abated the best of prayers are those that are battered in tears and every true believer must come to, um, to the throne of grace when coming to the lord in prayer every prayer is a spiritual warfare now at this point in time i found out that without the fruit of the spirit i was going nowhere so i went to the lord in prayer to fill me with the nine fruit of the spirit but my brothers and sisters remember i said every prayer are spiritual warfare and the lord began to show me all these things that happen after every prevailing prayer all of a sudden i found myself in the spirit as i saw a particular woman as i looked at her closely immediately she changed into a demon and a beast all of a sudden there were thousands of demons all over me it was time to fight this great battle i knew i wasn't alone in this encounter i knew that the angels of the lord were with me we were fighting this battle continuously 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 and all of a sudden i saw satan there he was with all the demons he was seated on a disgusting throne but my brothers and sisters i said to the angels give me the sword of truth immediately i held on to the sword of truth i wanted to use it to smite the head of satan because i knew that every believer has great authority to command satan in the name of jesus christ and the lord jesus christ is speaking to us right now my brothers and sisters you have a true spiritual authority in the name of jesus christ because jesus christ has conquered for us the bible says that jesus christ disarmed principality and powers for our sake and by the grace of god may the lord jesus christ begin to fight all our battle for us in the spirit in jesus name we pray satan's accusation all of a sudden satan began to accuse me and he said to me he began to laugh at me now the voice of satan seems like a joker when in our unconverted days there were a lot of cartoons we used to watch which these cartoons were very demonic and this cartoon was like um, a batman cartoon where you can hear the voice of um, a joker sounding somehow laughing in different manner this is the same way satan laughs he laughs in a disgusting manner and as he began to laugh at me he began to accuse me and he said to me you have sinned 45 times he began to say to me i've done this i've done this i've done this and i told him i am washed by the blood of the lamb he kept on accusing me and he kept on accusing me remember satan is called the accuser of the brethren he kept on telling me things like i am not saved and i told him that i am saved Whenever Satan brings this argument to you, you must know that you have been saved and you have been washed by the blood of the Lamb. And Satan began to tell me that I will torment you if I get you in hell. For the testimonies that you are sharing and for other people's testimony I began to share. I was sharing the testimony, the lives of the 14 years old Samuel Tega and Sister Ayo. And he told me, I will, I will torment you. My brothers and sisters, whenever you hear the devil's voice, 
it seems like a baby and a joker and it is because of the grace of the Lord upon our life we must not be afraid remember that the Lord has sent his last day army upon the earth and you have been listening to these revelations and you have been doubting in your heart are these things true remember the more truth that we amass on the day of judgment these things possibly will be used against us if we do not believe in the words that the Lord Jesus Christ is doing on, in these last days. And my brothers and sisters, I was in another encounter as I saw Satan having a great meeting. He was with lots of demons. Now I can boldly tell you that not all speaking in tongues come from the Spirit of God. Because I saw these demons, they began to speak in tongues. They began to speak in different unknown language. Now I heard this Satan say, Go and get the evangelists. Go and get the pastors. Go and cause destruction. Go and cause earthquake. As he began to say all this, as he saw that somebody was coming close, they began to speak in tongues. My brothers and sisters, we must be careful of every tongue that we listen to. Because demons can also speak in tongues. But I pray that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ will be upon us. Remember, the standard of God is high. The standard of God is high. God will not change his standard even for 7 billion souls on earth. But I pray that the grace of the Lord will begin to sanctify us to live a holy and a righteous life unto Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The blind church members. As I got close to a church service, I, it was a praise and worship session and um, I saw the man of God on the pulpit. Now, this man of God had the power to prophesy. It was more of a prophetic ministry. Now, as I got close to the church service, I saw that every member in this congregation were blind. They were blind. They never understood what was happening there. Because there were a lot of diabolic powers that the Lord opened my eyes to see in this church service. Lots of enchantment. And this was the great utterance that... The so-called man of God was using to hold his church members. Now, as I quietly went out of this church service, the evil ones in that gathering began to go after me, but the Holy Spirit drove me out of this place, and the Lord spoke to me. He told me, this is the state of so many churches on earth. Many church members are blind, because many have been held in prison or bondage. My brothers and sisters, please don't go to a ministry because of healing, don't go to a ministry because of prophecies. Don't go to a ministry because of signs and wonders. But don't go to a church where you can see Jesus. Where you want to be like Jesus. Where the crucified life of Jesus is being preached. Where the cross of Jesus Christ is being preached. Not a place of breakthrough and prosperity. Remember, for as those that are led by the Spirit of God, such are the sons and daughters of God. First heavenly revelations. The Lord began to reveal to me of Different false heavenly revelations that we find upon the body of Christ. I can boldly tell you, my brothers and sisters, not every revelation comes from heaven. Not every revelation comes from the, uh, from the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. The, the Bible says in Galatians 1 verse 8, But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, which we have not preached before, let him be accursed. In this encounter, my eyes was opened up. As I was taken into heaven. Now I heard different kinds of music that can never be altered. And as I was taken into this heavenly place, I saw an angel. The angel conveyed me into this place. Now watch the deception of Satan. Immediately, I asked for Jesus. But a fake Jesus Christ was brought to me. How did I know this was a fake Jesus Christ? Only through the grace of, the, through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and through a discernment spirit. We must always ask the Lord to fill us with a discerning spirit so that we can tell the difference between blue and black. Because I can tell you in these last days, Satan has unleashed a great deception. And it is only by the spirit of God we can tell when a man of God or when a servant of God is truly speaking from the spirit of God. It is possible for a minister to preach holiness. It is possible for somebody to see heaven and hell testimonies. But it is not coming from the spirit of Jesus Christ. It only takes a religious spirit and a familiar spirit to do all this. But I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will give us grace. And all of a sudden, as this was going on, I, they brought a fake Jesus Christ to me and I knew this was not him. And I said to the angels, why is this here in heaven? Why is this here in heaven? All these are not biblical. Immediately I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, get behind me. And then um, the fake Jesus was taken away from me and I came back to life. 
my brothers and sisters, the Lord began to tell me, not all revelations come from Him. There is a great deception upon the earth. But I pray today that every deception that Satan has unleashed upon the earth, the Lord Jesus Christ will begin to expose all of it in Jesus' name we pray. Fake Jesus. There is a fake Jesus going around appearing to different people. My brothers and sisters, we must always ask for the Spirit of God and fill ourselves with the Word of God. Anything you find and anything you are being revealed unto that does not have biblical scriptures or backup, you can take it on and send it into the trash can. Because my brothers and sisters, this is the deception that Satan has launched upon the earth. Now I saw a demon walking in the spirit of Satan and he came close to me. As he came close to me, I knew that this was not Jesus Christ. Because all over him, I saw some appearance. He never had some things that showed me that this was Jesus Christ. I just knew that this was not Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. And it says, no wonder Satan himself has transformed himself into an angel of light. No wonder his ministers also do so. And as he began to come close to me with the spirit of discernment, I knew that this was a fake Jesus Christ. All of a sudden, I began to quote scriptures unto him, and he ran away with a great speed. The Lord told me this. There are two weapons to, to destroy every works of Satan in these last days. The word and prayer. We must be careful, and we must be very prayerful over every revelation that is being revealed to us. We must ask the Lord to fill us with a discernment spirit. And we must ask the Lord to fill us with this spirit. If it does not synchronize with the word of God, have nothing to do with this. And I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will save us from the deception of these last days. In Jesus' name we pray. Evil gospel music. My brothers and sisters, I'm not talking of a worldly music. Not all gospel music comes from the heart of Jesus Christ. Now I was in the spirit. I saw the pastor on the pulpit. He began to preach the word. All of a sudden, they went into a praise and a worship session. Now they began to sing different kinds of gospel songs. This kind of gospel song began to change their different steps. Remember, any song that you listen to that does not reveal to you the glory of Jesus Christ is not of God. It is backed up by devils and demons. Have nothing to do with it. Because at this point in time, the whole congregation were in the praise and worship section. It seemed as if they were taken off by the Holy Spirit. But I knew an evil spirit was all over this congregation. My brothers and sisters, now every evil gospel music, I saw this in the spirit as the Lord revealed to me. It appears in two ways. Now, it is either abusing the most high living God, or it is either giving glory to Satan. I was, I was there right, I was there in the spirit. As I saw how this song was giving glory to Satan, this song was magnifying Satan. Now, it's a kind of gospel music that people sing. They begin to put the name of Jesus Christ, but their dancing steps only reveals the glory of Satan. And immediately, the demon said unto me, You have come to see our plan, Abi. You have come to see our plan, Abi. You have come to see our plan, Abi. And all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit took me away from that sin. And the Lord told me, To heavenly minded brethren, if you have any song on your playlist that you are not sure of, they speak in different tongues you are not sure of. And they are, it is not revealing the glory of Jesus Christ. Even though they mention the name of Jesus Christ, delete those songs from your playlist because it can stop one from making it up to the rapture. The Lord also revealed to me that football is not meant for a rapture-ready Christian. At this point in time, I was very much good with lots of video games. Now, what do I mean? Supporters of different clubs. Many of these football clubs are very demonic. And they would only lead one into a level of demonic bondage. But I pray that as we are hacking onto the word of the Lord, the Lord will fill us with great understanding and knowledge in Jesus' name we pray. My brothers and sisters, what are you waiting for? This is the time for us to repent and turn to our Lord Jesus Christ. The ark of God is already moving. Let us repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the rapture is about to take place. Because the Bible says, many are called, but few are choosing. As we are hacking onto the word of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ will begin to give us the grace to see much more and to appreciate the work that the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross of Calvary. In Jesus' name we pray. My brothers and sisters, it is time to repent. 
Are you living in any secret sin? Are you, have you done, are, are there restitutions that you need to do? All these little things will tell on us on the last day. And they will be like spots on our garments. Remember that the Lord Jesus Christ is only coming to rapture a holy church. The Lord Jesus Christ is only coming to rapture those that are holy. Those that are living a life of righteousness. Are there still some things in your life that you are not sure of? It is time to repent. The Bible says in John 3 verse 3. That except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You might be a church goer, but you are not born again. You might just be a religious person, but you are not born again. Are you like that? Why don't you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? The ark of God is moving. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. The ark of God is moving. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent right now, and so that your names will be written in the book of life. And my brothers and sisters, if you want to make that great decision, you can say this little prayer after me. Because I believe right now the Lord Jesus Christ will begin to purify you. The Lord Jesus Christ will begin to sanctify you. The Lord Jesus Christ will begin to write your name in the book of life. The Lord Jesus Christ will begin to remove every Adamic trace and every Adamic nature from your life. And you can say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you today as my personal Lord and Savior. Destroy every power of darkness upon my life. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name from the book of death. I renounce every ungodliness and every worldliness from my life. Use me for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have just made this great decision, I can tell you congratulations. And the angels of the Lord are doing something mighty and great in your life. And they are using you and they will use you for the great revival that the Lord is about to bring upon the earth. My name still remains Anneli Shedozi. For inquiries and distribution of our end time testimonies, contact Rapture Ready End Time Movement. God bless you. Remain Rapture Ready in Jesus' name.